I was uh, really into music. I've been DJing for about five years. And I always said, ah, I really want to learn how to make the music I'm DJing. At that point, I had never opened up a DAW, never opened up Ableton. I looked at YouTube videos on Ableton and tried away from it because it was all these different knobs and buttons. I said, ah, maybe there's a school. And I typed it in. And of course, Berlin DBS was the first thing that popped up. It was a total life change. And I think I needed it. My name is Oliver Myrtle. I've been in Berlin now for three years. I'm an alumni of DBS and I've created Noisefabrik here in Berlin, Germany. Noisefabrik is a co-working space dedicated to people in the creative and audio industry. A lot of co-working spaces here are mainly tech or app developers and stuff like that. So my business partner and I would always find ourselves in the back of the room with other musicians or other creative people saying like, what are we doing here? And then we said, okay, maybe we can try to get some funding and do it ourselves. We were speaking to a lot of the students at DBS, um, a lot of other music producers that we met along the way, and we kept on asking them, oh, so, you know, co-working, what else would you like to have? And a lot of them said, oh, maybe some kind of stage, some, some kind of area that we can do workshops, seminars, and stuff like that. The musicians and the producers were also kind of saying, oh, maybe a cool space to actually produce, you know? And that's where we kind of developed this idea of the, the three production studios. As soon as you close the door, you're really kind of isolated in your own little world. And so the whole point is whatever's happening in there, inside the box, is not disturbing the co-workers and vice versa. We have like two or three people that actually come over here after work and just like start playing the drums just to de-stress and it's not disturbing anyone else out there, so it's kind of funny. We do very unique gigs. So we can have anywhere up to, up to 20 to 80 people outside watching the artist do their recording. So it's a live concert, but with professional sound quality at the end. In terms of what I actually learned at DBS, I had never opened up a DAW. Ableton was very intimidating for me. I did the one year diploma. And after that one year, I was able to, I was producing tracks. I, I felt confident on Ableton. I was actually teaching people who had never opened up Ableton how to use Ableton. But I think most importantly was the networking that came with it. For instance, three years later, I'm still talking to DBS. DBS is throwing, uh, hosting a party here. But even after three years, it's not as if, okay, thanks DBS, bye, that was it definitely still keep in contact. I really like the business side of DBS. The business side of things makes you think ahead of time and plan ahead of time, whereas musicians are very much kind of focused in the moment, which is great because that allows them to focus on their music and really be in the moment. Then all of a sudden you're kind of thrown into the, like, the wild world of Berlin as well. Knowing how to produce music and you just assume, okay, cool, I can produce tracks, I can produce music. Why am I not famous, you know? It works hand in hand. And so when students finally get out of school, they're one prepared like technically and production wise, as well as in the business sense. I see this project, it's a super exciting project, and, but I see this as a little, like a one-year-old child right now. And the one-year-old child needs constant like care. It can't walk by itself, let's just say. I wish I had the time to open up Ableton and produce more, but if it's me producing the music or being surrounded by people producing the music, you know, I always find it hanging out with creative people and just music in general, it's best of both worlds, I think. Mean.